<laughs> Welcome to volleyball with the tops. <laughs> Alright guys, bit of bad news, looks like we won't be getting access. It's currently, I believe, a Taliban training compound. So no, this is where they train the soldiers, or the jihadists, or the suicide bombers. But it's a shame because it's got an interesting story, an interesting history, where this was the site of the first American death as part of the war. And it was the first battle of the US war as well, where 400 Taliban prisoners were up against a small number of ANA, Afghan National Army and two CIA members. The two CIA members were brought in just a month after the invasion started to interrogate and interview these 400 Taliban uh, prisoners. But unfortunately they had snuck uh, weapons and ammunition and grenades. Within just, I think within just a couple of hours they had taken over control of the prison, taken over control of the compound. Just keep my eyes because I'm not sure I'd be recording here. And yeah, I think it was uh, David Tyson and Johnny Spann. I think Johnny Spann was the one who died immediately. David Tyson managed to, managed to get out. So yes, huge number of deaths, probably the most um, in any event in the US Army. I think there's been 370 deaths. But that story, unfortunately, we'll have to wait. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Here we go. Four booths, two, four, six, eight seats. We'll go for a ride. We'll go in the world's smallest Ferris wheel. This is for sale. Oh, how much? How much? Uh, the price is not mentioned yet. Does 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 he know? Maybe. Maybe about uh, sixty-eight thousand of sixty-eight thousand. There we go. So this is what eight hundred. US dollars get you in Afghanistan? A, f a Ferris wheel? And it's for eight people? Barayash na Ferris? Barayash na Ferris? Yes. Eight people. Okay. Each perfect. for two. Each for two. Each for two. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect example of you never know what you're going to find in Afghanistan. A Ferris wheel for sale in the local petrol shop. Alright, folks, another thing. Let me introduce to you what I think has to be. Two of the largest carpets I've seen in Afghanistan. Look at the size of this. Is this being, I take it this is being cleaned, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is that why it's here? It washed and put it here to dry. Yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. Would this go in your house? This is this is this is too small for your house, isn't it? Your house is too big, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, my house is too big. <laughs> my man. Look at this here. Very nice, very good, very nice, very good. Very good, very nice. Look at the size of those. So guys, we're just driving through Palak. I think the name of the town is, and it's very strange. It's actually very different than Mazar, even though we're only maybe about 30 minutes. Every girl I've seen so far has a full veil over their face. Or also tuk-tuks. Every woman has a full veil. Which is a considerable difference in Mazar because I think it's quite, would go as far as sound as liberal, but it certainly wasn't, I guess. Okay, trying to get a mulberry. What are they? Mulberry what? Milk mulberry. Like berry? Mulberry berry? Yeah. You have this one. Okay. Bismili. Bismillah. Bismillah. Bismillah, which means cheers. This is the noise that woke me up. Sorry, this is the sound that woke me up at 4 a.m. this morning. I was there. They're nice. Yeah. I'll have one. Very nice. Okay, the time is just after half twelve and we are having some ice cream already. Eh? Is this normal in Afghanistan? Ice cream at half twelve? 
Right, what sort of ice cream is this? Why is it uh, brown? It's not chocolate, it's not chocolate, no? Why is it brown? It is chocolate. It is chocolate? Okay, so it's chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Right, here goes. Bismillah, yeah? Bismillah. 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 Here it goes. Hurry up and eat it, he says. <laughs> Ali. Very good. Oh, I'll tell you what. That is nice. I think they're making sure they're not in the camera. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Abdul Hamid. My last name is, my name is Abdul Hamid. I'm David. Okay. Nice to meet you. You live here? Yeah. And in fact, I'm a I'm a robot maker. Oh, also, a robot help, maker? Yeah. You have a me. Just, and can you help me? To do, what? So you you are a robot maker and... Yes. I have a, I have a video. Oh, a video? Okay, yeah, yeah. Show me. Yeah. Hello, Hello, how are, how are you? Robotic, man. I'm good. How are, are you? I'm fine. Everything is okay? Yes. Amazing English. <laughs> okay. What's your name? My name is Merton. Where are you from? I'm from Ireland. Oh, wow. It's yes. really nice. Yes. So, this is very. This is the color of Ireland here. Very green. Thanks a lot. Of. I'm David. Nice, nice so, to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you too. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing. Everything's perfect here in Afghanistan. Oh. People are so friendly. I've drank lots of chai in Afghanistan. Lots of chai, yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. And lots of ice cream too, yeah. Did you um, did you study at university? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Did, what did you? What's um, I'm engineer. like engineer? Ah, so you're very smart. Huh? <laughs> I'm engineer. Very smart, you see. Yes. Very good. And how old are you? That's it. Twenty. Twenty two. Oh, yeah. So. It's okay, go. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, fam. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. So, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Tell you what, ice cream. Yeah. Ali. Was there a what was there a problem there? He says uh, when the people are just gathering and coming around you, something will happen, like suicide attack or something. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, okay. this is why okay. we are just uh, ah, yeah. quickly. Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy to. If they want us to move, I'm no yeah, problem yeah. to respect that. Okay. Uh, so we, we were at risk of a uh, suicide bomb there. You know, groups of people. That's what they target. This is a high risk area. This would have been an area where you would have uh, had to have had. A Taliban soldier with you? Yeah, yeah. always. Okay. Alright guys, this is one for you 420 fanatics. We have arrived at the place where hash was founded. You know, that sort of brown resiny stuff. You guys who smoke that sort of stuff will know what I'm talking about. I don't. So yeah, it's, um, it was invented from the marijuana leaf into the brown resin. So we're gonna have a look around. There's another shrine upstairs. I think there is a shrine keeper's house as well we're gonna check out. And I think there's a well being constructed. So, look, another day in Afghanistan. Let's see what we can find out. Let's see who we're gonna to talk to and we'll go from there. So let's check it out. This was up until the Taliban took over. Yeah. They could smoke hash in this room here. Yeah. And then this room here. Yeah. And this and, is the mosque. And then this was one of the first things the Taliban in this area destroyed. Yeah. When they found the tomb of Ali, or the tomb of the cousin of Prophet Muhammad, in the new city of Mazar Sharif, people moved from here and went to Mazar Sharif. They started living there. Oh, so the tomb was here first, and then people began to populate the area by moving, moving, okay. What are they doing with the construction works? He's just digging a wheel. Oh, okay, well, for water. Yeah. Water. Oh, this is his house? Yeah. This is where he lives? This is where he lives. Oh my god. So, he has no possessions. He has only the shrine keeper. Ah, okay. And this is where he lives, sleeps and eats? Yeah. Does he have any, does he have any family? They were in Balkh. So he, but he lives here? Yeah, for keeping the shrine, for cleaning, for just doing the... Like, okay. 
grouping. And well, but when does he spend time with his family? At night. But oh, so he goes in the bath to sleep. Yeah. Okay, so this is a room where he stays yeah. during the day. Yeah, during the day. Right. Well, that makes a lot more sense because yeah, okay, so he keeps cool, drinks water, yeah. probably eats his breakfast or his like lunch. Like his office, you know. Yes. Okay. Okay. So they're currently constructing the well. Yeah. How long will it take to finish the well from the start to the finish? They started uh, yesterday and it will take three more days. Three more days? Well, tell him I can see that he works very hard and th thank you very much. This is what can he do for you. Nothing, nothing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tashiko, Tashiko. Allah, Allah, Allah. And just ah. for praying. So this is how I hold it, eh? Yeah. yeah. Just call Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. For each of it. <laughs> Tashiko, Tashiko, Tashiko. It's there beautiful, it right? Is it? Eh? The same yeah. color of uh, your. Uh, yeah, so it suits me. Here. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to figure out how it works. I'm not sure. I'm just wondering at the bottom is there like a bucket or something that's. Digging it to bring it up? Yeah. Okay. I'll take two. So this is one of the rooms where they smoked hash. Yeah. Yeah. Until the Taliban. One of the first things they done. What is so special about this room? Why can they not just smoke it? you know, two years ago on the previous regime, smoke it in their house or smoke it in the park. Actually, Why was there one specific room? Actually, when you are together, yeah. it gives us another taste. Ah, yeah. okay, you okay. You enjoy of smoking with friends. So this is a common area, a public area, where people come together yeah. to smoke it? Yeah, also very far from the city. It yep. is just a very separate place in a desert. Like Peace and quiet. Yeah. Is he from uh, this area? As good as From Jalalabad. Jalalabad? He drove from Jalalabad to here, yeah? Because he's a specialist, I'm guessing, in what he's doing. Yeah. And how far is the drive from Jalalabad? Uh, Jalalabad is 16 hours. 16 hours. Tell him, um, obviously, we go to Jalalabad in, I think, two days. And if people are as friendly as him, I will love it. <laughs> That's your cool. So this is it. I'm not sure how safe this is, but um, this area was blown up probably about 18 months ago by the Taliban because they see hash as, well, like anything else. You know, alcohol, breeding. So they just came in here and just, as you can see, a bit sad. This, this man here has gifted me a little, it's not a necklace, not a bracelet, but it's, a, it's I think it's a good luck charm. Where you say Allah, 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 Allah. La ilaha illallah. Say, say again. La ilaha. La ilaha illallah. Illallah. Muhammadu. Muhammadu. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. <laughs> <laughs> My man, brilliant. That's what you get in Afghanistan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Tashiko. Cricket, Ireland, Morgan Power Steel. Yes, yes. My man. Yes, Owen Morgan. Morgan. Yes. And, uh, England. Yes, England too. Owen uh, Morgan. Morgan. Owen Morgan. Cricket? You good? Uh, yeah. Good. Zindabad, Afghanistan, eh? Zindabad, Ireland. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a man, what a man. Right, you have already seen the smallest Ferris wheel in Afghanistan. You have seen the biggest carpets in Afghanistan. But have you seen the biggest swings in Afghanistan? Here we go. There's the little. The little, try, David. the little children have a go. Let me show you how it's done. Or sorry, in fact, you show me how it's done. Go, big swing, huh? Let me see. Muhammad John, big swing. <laughs> this guy just loves it. No matter what he does, he's enjoying himself. But oh, he's getting scared. <laughs> For a guy that can run about Afghanistan, talk to the Taliban, he's scared of swings. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
<laughs> See, professional, I've been doing this since I was about five. There we go. How do you feel, Devi? I feel amazing. Afghanistan! <laughs> Ireland Zindabad. Ireland Zindabad! So, setting the scene. Genghis Khan and his army of two million soldiers walking across from Mongolia through Central Asia through Afghanistan in the 1200s eventually arriving at the town of Vlach where 3,000 Tajiks will meet their fate I'll tell you what you know I've done it all in Afghanistan eh? you know here we go where else do you get it, eh? Walk, trotting through Afghanistan on horseback. So we've just arrived at No Gumbad Mosque, which is the first ever mosque in Afghanistan, but we've just been escorted to the mosque by the Taliban. I don't know why, but sure. I'm sure we'll get some chai out of it at the end. Here we are, built, I must say, in fact, nobody's sure when it was built, but it was transferred from a Buddhist temple with a stupa to a mosque in the 9th century. So this is all from the Buddhist era. And we don't and we don't know if it's 500 years before it was um, yeah. changed into a mosque or a thousand years. Yeah. So here we are. This has got to be some incredible detail. It's a bit hard to believe that this is actually older. Than 1100 years ago. Obviously, not the roof. But as you can see, plants, no animals. Wow. How well is that preserved? That is just incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to volleyball with the tops. <laughs> Currently playing volleyball with the Taliban. Unbelievable. Where else do you get it? We don't get it anywhere else to be fair, but right. Let's win this. Fuck's sake, I'm the time for lives. Nice. Oh. Right. Chai? Chai, chai. Chai, chai, chai. 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 From a man who lives in Afghanistan, have you ever played volleyball with the Taliban? No. Have you now? You're the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you want different experiences, just call me, yeah? Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Unbelievable. We have this expression called, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah? <laughs> you know, so we just go and we just do it, and whatever happens, happens, yeah? Yeah. Thank you very much, that was absolutely brilliant. Did you like it? I thought it was fantastic. One of the most unique, ex well, so far. We've only been here one week, and we've got 10 days left. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think there's plenty more experiences like that to be had, that's for sure. Yeah. Nice to meet you, nice yeah. to meet you. What's your name? Nice. David. Mohamed Yassin. Nice to meet you, nice, nice to meet you. So there we go, oh my God. What else is gonna happen? Well. Burum, 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 burum. Let's check our little, little rickshaw. Hello, hello. What do you think about here? You and me? Yeah. Let's go. Maybe I drive, eh? <laughs> what are you laughing at, sir? This is what happens when you come on a trip with me. Yeah. Yalla. 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 <laughs> See what this thing's made of, eh? Yes. 
Bakery Street or Baker Street. Where's your horn? This one? <laughs> Come on, get out of the way. <laughs> right, well, we're getting away with everything here, boy. Tasha <laughs> Kor. Tasha Kor. Tasha Kor. Tasha Kor. What's his name? Sorry. No, just. Nice to meet you. David. David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow. Alright, here we go. Welcome to the Blue Mosque. Yalla, 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 yalla. I won't win if I do this enough, they'll let me in. Yalla, 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 yalla. Alright, guys, here we are at, oh my word, the incredible Blue Mosque here in Mazar. Take me back to my days in Uzbekistan. Samarkand, Bukavu, Kivu, and if you've ever been to Uzbekistan, you will understand what I mean. This is a carbon copy, certainly the design, the colors are a carbon copy of what you'll see in uh, Uzbekistan. Absolutely incredible. Also, because it's Honolulu's first time to Mazar, he has not actually been to this mosque. So, I'm going to share the experience and uh, you yeah, ever want to see what uh, what it's like for him. So this is Honolulu's first time going in the shrine, the famous shrine of uh, Mazar. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Come excited. on, let me show the let me see the big smile. <laughs> He's some boy, right? So this yeah. is a special moment for him. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank oh. you, thank you, man. I'll friend. see you when I come out. Tashiko. <laughs> Any good? Yes. Yes, you're a new man. 